So uh, today is going to be an unboxing video for the Freestyle Libre. Um, it just came out fairly recently and um, my pharmacist didn't know how to order it. It took him a, a couple of days to figure it out. Uh, the contents are a sensor applicator, the sensor one sensor packet, um, two alcohol wipes, and a um, and a product insert. So <laughs> this is the first first time I've done this. Um, and if you think, for example, that you don't have to worry about diabetes or prediabetes, um, you might want to look at some of our uh, videos. Um, UCLA, for example, published uh, recently an article showing that about half of Californians have prediabetes, insulin resistance. If you're age 60, uh, you're more than likely to have insulin resistance than not. So, again, maybe this is uh, something you should be paying attention to. Here's the Freestyle Libre um, sensor packet. And here is the applicator packet. Um, before we start, a brief introduction. Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R, -E preventive medicine specialist. Um, helping you prevent your heart attack, stroke, uh, dementia, disability. So, um, I have already read the, the insert online, but I'll go through a couple of uh, basic points on this. They've got pictures, which are very good for somebody like me who likes to rush through, um, maybe not always get uh, directions, sort of find things out on your own assuming you know how to do it. Um, <clears throat> this is showing uh, where you usually put it, um, cleaning it, um, applying the, the sensor to the applicator, which we'll do in a minute. And this, I'll, I'll show you that in this video. Um, applying it, uh, pushing down, holding it there, and then uh, bringing it off and leaving the sensor on your arm. Okay, uh, one of the things they ask you to do is check the codes, make sure they match, and the codes here are H68. Okay, let's, un um, let's open these. And this. Uh, the next thing you do, take this out. If I can get it out. Hmm. I was wrong. I should have read that better. You don't take that out. You do. You press this on. So you get the... Where is it? There's a mark that you're supposed to line up. Let's see if I can find that. Okay. So here's the mark here and the mark here. So <clears throat> I thought this was going to be a little bit simpler and more intuitive. Actually, that's not that bad. Okay, as you see on here, once you apply, once you put these two together, apply the sensor to the applicator, there is a tiny needle here. Um, now, before I apply it, what I want want to do is the alcohol wipe in the area 
that wasn't the greatest sterile technique. You're supposed to start right in the middle of where you're going to go and then go in uh, concentric, concentric circles out. So let me do that again. There we go. Again, I thought it might be more helpful to show you the first time I did one of these on myself, which is now. So you do, you get to witness some of the messiness and uh, confusion. Okay, so a lot of people will wait for a few minutes and talk about that before they actually push it down. Uh, there's no pain. There's no need to do that. Uh, hold it down for a few minutes or a few seconds. Uh, there you go. So that's the application of the sensor. Um, <clears throat> now there's the um, the reader, and this reader uh, contains the Libre, the a USB cable, an adapter. Uh, power adapter, a user's manual, quick start guide, quick reference guide, interactive tutorial. So I'm not going to take all that time on this video to go through all of that. You open it up, and evidently I opened it up upside down, but that's the, sim the uh, reader right there. It's got a little plastic covering on it. And some information. Maybe I'll read that a little bit better before I can actually before I actually take a reading. Actually, I'll I'll see. Heck with all that stuff. Let me see if I can actually get a reading here. Uh, nope. Don't think I'm going to be able to because. Oh wait a minute. It did turn on. English. Okay. Current date March. Uh, I think it's March the 2nd. Let me check. Hold on just a minute. No. It, the machine was right. It's March the 3rd. So I'm set up for March the 3rd. Uh, 11. It's not... It, Eight in the morning, it's eleven nineteen. And then hit continue. Target range. I'm gonna set my target range at uh for right now, let's just try oops. I hit the wrong, when I hit back, I fat fingered it and went backwards and changed the time. So target range, it starts out at a hundred. Uh, I'd rather have a target range 90 to, well, it, it stops at 139. That's a fairly high range. Okay, anyhow, that's, I can't get the, the upper number to go any lower than 130. Oh, here we go. So this is a little bit uh, glitchy in terms of <clears throat> uh, getting, being able to control those numbers. I'm assuming we can, you can change those again later. It suggests we go ahead and do a, a finger stick to calibrate it. It gives you a bunch of other information. Start new sensors. Scan sensor to start it. Okay, so it read it. It's starting up. It can be used in 12 hours. This is one of the issues that um, the reasons why 
the Europeans. Most of the videos you'll see on this have uh, English speak uh, people with an English accent because this was available a couple of years ago in the in the UK. Uh, the US FDA and in its infinite wisdom had a couple of issues about the quality of the readings the first day or two and the quality of the readings um, the last three or four days. That then left folks that needed to have this kind of information without the device for two years. Uh, and if I sound irritated, yes I am. Um, <clears throat> I think we're about as far as we're going to be able to get on this. Thank you for your interest.